Hello, welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy and today we're going to have a great time. I'm going to teach you how to make doll hair or gnome hair out of yarn. I know this is going to be curly, awesome, fantastic, and easy. So let's have some fun. So I picked up some yarn from the dollar store and some skewer sticks and some pipe cleaners. That's all it takes to make this fancy gnome hair. It's so much fun. So all you have to, I always roll my yarn into a ball to make it easier to work with, but you don't have to. You can take it straight from how you get it at the dollar store. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these sticks and we're just going to wrap the yarn around it. Now here's the trick for this to work. You have to have the yarn on there pretty tight. If it's loose, it just won't curl. It won't hold the curl. And I found that the hard way. Now you could make this a wooden dowel if you wanted it a larger curl, but if you want the little tiny curls like I'm going for here, we're just going to use these sticks. You can get I don't know, I think they come 50 in a bag at the dollar, you know, for a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> so not too shabby. Now this is the part that is a little bit time consuming. It takes about, I don't know, half a minute to a minute per thing. So what I did was I just put in a movie, grabbed a roll of sticks or a roll of yarn and some sticks and just sat there twirling the yarn around and I think it's kind of like if you were going to knit or crochet, you know, it is time consuming, but it's just kind of mundane work. It doesn't take a little brain surgeon to figure it out. And so you can just sit there. It's kind of, I don't know, in a way therapeutic for me. So I just go along and you can do this in any color. You can use different types of yarn. Again, as long as you pull this tight or keep it, you know, so it's firm, this will work. Then I just cut the end off because I want to be able to use every last inch and just tie it in a little loop so it won't unravel. And that's really all there is to curling yarn for gnome hair. There it is. Voila. So just duplicate that. Do that same process over and over again until you have a stack. Now, depending on how many, uh, you know, how big your gnome is, I like to then tie it off onto a pipe cleaner because I know that I'm going to have a hat over the top so there's no reason to have it all fancy. Now if you're going to do this for doll hair you would then thread it with a needle into that plastic. It almost looks like a swimmer's cap that you use to create the hair that you attach to a doll. But after you get it all done, this is what it looks like. And you can do any colors, red, white, you know, any color. But look at how this, it's just like stretchable. It's so great. So I'm going to show you what we do. Once you get it completely on all the rods, the next step, you're going to be amazed. It's so simple and so easy. So take your sticks that are all done in the colors you like, lay them flat on a cookie sheet. And then this is the easy part. All you have to do is add some fancy ingredient, water. <laughs> okay, it's not fancy. Just plain old simple water. And then you want them to really be able to soak up. I usually leave it for a half an hour or so, but it's not imperative. A couple of times I was in a big hurry and I only left them for five minutes. They still worked. <laughs> so they're very forgiving. Then once they've been soaked up pretty good, you can drain the water off. And you can actually put quite a few on a cookie sheet. I mean, I've even layered them two or three at a time. They don't have to be 100% flat. And I mix colors and everything. Then you just turn your oven on to 200 degrees, set a timer for 45 minutes. Now, I love that my oven actually turns off when the 45 minutes is up because if I'm being honest, <laughs> I can forget about these. I forget to check back on them. So it's just really nice that the oven turns off and they're not just sitting there baking all day. <laughs> so I just put them in, set it and forget it, so to speak. <laughs> but anyway, you just put those into your oven at the measly temperature of 200 degrees 
and let them bake. Once they're done baking, you can just take them out, take them off of their rods and attach them to the pipe cleaner. Like I showed here previously, this was the uncurled yarn, but it's the same idea. Just keep it in a straight line. See, it doesn't take a genius. It's so great and it's just used with dollar store supplies. I love it. I'll see you again soon. See ya.